Okay, so I will teach you today how to uh, play NES games on T-Mobile Dash. Okay, first, you need some files to download. Go to... Hold on. Go... You need a... You need the SDA Unlocker. The links for all these files are on the right side. Just click on more info. All right, go to this website. Go to this website right here, and click on this link right here. It will download. Save the disk. You save it. Then you extract all the files. It will look like this. SDA application unlocked. Open it up. Start. Make sure your phone is connected. Okay. So open the program. Then you click on remove lock. It will remove the app unlock on your T-Mobile dash, which allows third-party applications on your phone. When you remove lock, it will say you have successfully unlocked your phone. Then shut your uh, T-Mobile Dash off and then turn it on again. Next step is to download the um, download the Pocket Nesta emulator. To download this, go to dashapps.googlepages.com as you see here. You can scroll down to gaming look like this scroll down to gaming and click on pocket nesta plus all right so save the file and open it up you won't have to extract extract this one so take the pocket nesta file pocket nesta plus take it and put it on your dash Create a games folder. I recommend you save this on a storage card. Save memory on your device. So, save the Pocket Nester into a games folder on your T-Mobile Dash. Make a games folder. Like I have right here. Games. And Pocket Nester is right there. So now you leave that. Now the next file you need is the pget files. For tget files, don't click over there, that doesn't work anymore. For the tget files, you go to this website right here. I have the links on the side again. Click on more info. Alright. Then you scroll down, it'll look like this. Scroll down and click on the zip file for smartphones. Click on it. You, you will download it. I have downloaded it already and open it up open the file extract the files it look like this and the file you need is this file right here the tget file dot s p v a r m take that file and put it in your dash put that in your games folder again put it in the games folder right over here now for the next step you open up your dash oh shoot no you have to open your dash and go to where you have made your games folder on your T-Mobile dash from your phone you have to do this go to your games folder click on the tget file and it will start to install on your phone after you've installed it all the last thing you need are the games now for the games the ROMs go to go to this website right here romhustler.net you can get games from here. Go to um, uh, the NES games, or you can go to more 
Roms.com. NES games right here. Super Mario. All all these games will fit. See, as you can see, they're not very big files. For the next now for the next step, all you have to do is put these games onto your dash. So open up your dash and place the files. Do not put the files in the games folder. For some reason it does not work. See, like I have here, I have to put the games I have to put the games files outside of the games folder. So put the files on your phone, but not in the games folder. Put the files on your phone. And there, these are all the games. Now to play them, go onto your phone, go to Pocket Nester Plus where you saved it on your phone in the games folder. Click on File, Open ROM, and go to the where you saved the games onto your T-Mobile Dash, and you can start playing from there. And you can set the controllers by setting go th go through options, and you can configure con like controls and everything and those are all your games and that is how you will be able to play NES games on your T-Mobile Dash and to change your the volume strip on your T-Mobile Dash to a scroller all you have to do is go to dash apps.googlepages.com scroll down to modding and click on set jog bar download that and um, take it and put it into put it into your storage card or your device and put it anywhere just remember where you put it it'll look like this set jog bar go to your phone find the file where you put it through file explorer click on it and it will start to install and there you go that's all for today